you'll never be able to thank them enough um, on and off the court what they've been able to do. Um, so, you know, it was all about that. And then after doubles, you know, obviously I was, I think I was a little discouraged because, um, I, I mean, I wanted more than anything to get off to a good start, um, especially especially in the doubles. Um, but I knew how to rally back. And then, yeah, as you said, it was kind of a kind of a weird match. You know, we got um, lost doubles point, lost four first sets, so things weren't looking so so great. But as far as far as my match goes, I never really felt like I was out of it. Even when I lost the first set, uh, I just got down early, and I thought I fought my way back in there, and I was a better player for most of that first set. And I just figured I just knew that I had to keep with it, keep with it. Um, and you know, I thought I did a good job of starting off uh, both the second and third set really well, and kind of. Um, you know, get, getting it to him early, putting, I guess, with scoreboard pressure on him. Yeah. And then I saw, you know, it, even though Braden didn't win, it was big that he turned his match and was able to, took it, to take it to a third set. Um, oh, he obviously did a great job. And, uh, you know, Brett and Robert, they've been, you know, the most, couple of the most consistent points for our, our team this whole year. And uh, I expect nothing less from them, uh, get it done in straight sets. And so I was really, you know, Overall, really pleased because you know after the doubles and after we lost the first sets, I was just like, "There's no way we can lose this. Like, there, there's absolutely no way. Um, you know, I'm gonna do 